pop up law series. Did you know that according to the state for parliamentary affairs, it is estimated that a total number of 68 bills in Rajya Sabha and 40 bills in Lok Sabha are still pending? Well, this list only seems to be increasing and clearing the backlog seems to be a difficult exercise. But what is a bill? A bill is a draft statute that becomes a law after it is passed by both the Houses of Parliament and receives assent from the President of India. It can be introduced either by the Minister or any member other than the Minister. The bill undergoes three readings in the House, that is, the Lok Sabha, the Rajya Sabha, and before it is submitted for the consent from the President. Today, the bill which we are going to discuss is going to be Antarctic Bill, which was introduced in the year 2022. The Antarctic Treaty was signed in Washington, D.C. on the 1st December 1959 and was initially signed by 12 countries. Since then, 42 countries have acceded to the treaty. India signed the Antarctic Treaty on 19th August 1983 and received the consultative status on the 12th of September 1983. Nearly 40 years after India first signed the Antarctic Treaty, the government has brought in a draft to the Antarctic Bill 2020 and Earth Sciences Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh tabled the draft bill in Lok Sabha. India has been sending expeditions to Antarctica for the past 40 years and these expeditions have been circumscribed by the international law. The bill now puts into place a comprehensive list of regulations related to Antarctica for such scientific expeditions as well as individuals, companies and tourists. The ministry has further explained that it expects activity in Antarctica to increase in the coming years and making enforcement of domestic set of protocols very essential. Domestic legislations will further provide more validity to the Antarctic Treaty and subsequent protocols of which India is a signatory. The most significant part of the bill is extending the jurisdiction of Indian courts to Antarctica for crimes on the continent by Indian citizens or foreign citizens who are part of the Indian expeditions. So far, there was no recourse of the crimes that were being committed during an expedition, including crimes against environment. While India does not carry out any tourism activity in this region, a very few Indian tourists visit Antarctica and when they do, they can only do this through foreign tourist agents. The bill now shall enable the Indian tour operators to operate in Antarctica, although this will be circumscribed by strict regulation. The bill further enlists elaborates standard of environmental protection as well as waste management. To learn more about the bill, please click on the link below. Thank you.